Hello everyone, welcome to Keredit Planning Solutions and myself Mohan. At this session, we are going to discuss one of the important Infosys written examination topic, which is puzzle solving. Infosys have just updated its written examination pattern where you totally have five topics out of that puzzle solving is an important topic and it totally have four questions and you have to answer these four questions in 10 minutes. So I have included some of the Infosys model number puzzles and I believe definitely this is going to be helpful for you. Now entering into first question. Yes. So here you have a star shaped structure and in each leaf of the star you have some numbers and you have to find this question mark value. Now solving uh, you know number puzzles is really simple where you should have a basic idea on the relationship between numbers. So here if you look at the you know uh, the star so you can name this uh, leaves leave one right so from one to two the number is increasing that means if you look in clockwise direction the numbers are increasing so if you look in anti-clockwise direction the numbers are decreasing right so here since the number triple five six is huge you don't need to go in anti-clockwise direction now if you look at the first leave and second leave so what is the you know what is the relationship between the number which is presented at the first leave and second leave so the number present in first leaf is half of the number present in second leaf, right? So which is nearest to the half of the number present in second leaf. So you can write the number 6 as 6 into 2, 12, right? So 12 plus what gives 14? So 12 plus 2 gives 14, right? So 6 into 2 plus 2, you get 14. Now try to look at the relationship between the number at second leaf and third leaf. So, uh, so we, uh, so 45 is three times nearest to the 14, right? So when you multiply 14 for three times, what you get? So when you multiply this 14 for three times, you will get 42. So 42 plus three, you get 45. Now I believe you identify the structure. So which is six into two plus two, that is first number into two plus two and the second number into three plus three. Then what will come between the number 45 and the question mark? Right, so here the leaf, you can name the leaf as 4. So 45 into 4, right, 45 into 4. So 45 into 4, you will get 180. So 180 plus 4, you get 184. So the number which will come in the place of question mark is 184. Now you don't need to work further, right. So if you multiply this 184 into 5, you get 925. I mean 920. So 920 plus 5, you get 925. Similarly, 926 into 6 plus 6, you get 556. Then, what is the relationship between the middle number and the number at first leaves? So, which will be 5 into 1 plus 1, right? So, this is the basic relationship between the numbers which is present at the leaves of the star. So, answer for this question is 184. So, for this, you should have a basic relationship, I mean the basic idea on numbers. So, by looking the second number, you can easily come to a conclusion See this, the number at the second leaf is two times, that is little bit, the, you can say approximately two times higher than the number present at the first leaf, right? So 6 into 2, 12. So you have to add 2 with the 12. So you get 14. So in this way, you can easily identify the relationship between numbers in the picture. So answer for this question is 184 and, and I hope you understood the problem, right? Now moving to question number 2. Yes. Now for this type of problems, you have to look at the relationship between first two pictures and you have to answer the third picture. Now here you have the center number 108. Now what you have to find, so you have to find this question mark, right? Now what is the relationship between these four numbers? Right, what is the relationship between these four numbers? And if you look at the number which is at middle of the circle, this is definitely higher than these three numbers, right? So, uh, okay, now this is definitely higher than the three numbers. Now how you can write the numbers, right? So how you can write the numbers? Okay, now it is 72 plus 87. So 72 plus 87, what we get? It's 9. And 7 plus 8, you get 159. So 159 is definitely higher than 108. But if you look at the third number, you have 51. Now try to subtract it. So we are just trying to check is there any relationship between, you know, the numbers present at the boundary as well as number present at the center. So 159 minus 51, what we are getting? So we are getting 108. Now we crack the structure. So the structure here is, so if you take this number as one and this number as two and this number as three. So the structure is one plus two minus three. You will get the middle number, all right? 
So this is the basic simplification process. So we, we try to you know decode the second figure with the same structure. So here you have 112 and 108. So 112 plus 108, what we get? 10, 1, 2, you get 220, right? Now try to subtract 120 from it. So when you subtract 120 from it, we get 100, so which is the middle number. So this structure, I mean this code, perfectly work for second figure also. So you have to follow the same code for third figure. So 36 plus 45, right? So 36 plus 45, we get 81, right? So 81 minus what gives 61? 81 minus 20 will give 61, right? So answer for the question, question mark is 20. So this becomes our answer. See, for this type of problems, we have to understand the basic relationship between, you know, the outer numbers and middle numbers. So it, it is not obvious that there should be relationship between the outer numbers and inner numbers. So it can jumble between them. So here actually we have four numbers. So if you take permutation, you have 24 possibilities, right? So four into three into one, you totally have 24 possibilities, right? So they might add, you know, the 72, 108 and 51 and they might subtract this 87 right so 72 plus 108 minus 57 you might get some other different answers so in this way they will jumble between the structures right so you have to be proficient with the numbers then you can easily solve the problem now moving to third question okay here you have uh, two questions okay i will try to solve the first problem and the second question is work out for you so try to pass the video for 10 seconds once after i complete the first problem and if you don't know then again play with the video now for you know this type of puzzles definitely there might be relationship between some i mean columns or rows like this for example you can consider in this way so you might have relationship between this and this from this you will get answer for the third column or you might get a relationship between you know first column and third column with this you might establish a relationship between second column and you might get relationship between second and third column with this they will ask you to find the first column similarly you you might get relationship between first and second row or first second and third row and they will ask you to find the third row but you know the trick for this problem is always try to look at the greater number so definitely the greater number in greater number only you will have the trick now here i have 18 27 and 96 and i have to find the question mark value now i try to look in the row wise i mean i try to look the numbers in row wise order so here i have five and four and two right five four and two see by the manipulation of these numbers only i will get 18. so this is obvious right so when, when i add five plus four what i will get so when i add five plus four i get nine so nine into two i'm getting 18. similarly if i multi i mean if i add six and three i get nine 9 into 3 i get 27 so this is the actual structure right so 5 plus 4 that is first row plus second row i get 5 plus 4 9 and multiply with third row i get 18. similarly here 12 plus 4 i get 16. so 16 into what gives 96 so 96 by 16 i get 6. so answer for this question is 6. So in this way, there might be a relationship between, you know, uh, there might be, uh, you have to manipulate the uh, numbers in row wise order or in column wise order. So it completely depends on the question. So this is the actual formality for solving, you know, the problems related to table, problem related to uh, numbers in table. Now you have second question. So try to pass this video for 10 to 20 seconds and try to come up with answer. I hope you have worked. Now, what is the relationship between numbers here? So again, you have to look at the greater number, right? So which is the greater number here? So you have 18, 4, 10. So definitely, you know, manipulating the first and the second columns will fetch the result in third column. So how we can relate? Okay, now here, what is the difference between 2 and 8? So difference between 2 and 8, I am getting 6. So with 6, if, if I do what, I will get 18. So with 6, if I multiply 3, I will get 18, right? So I'm trying to look the difference between these two numbers. And with these two numbers, if I multiply 3, I'm getting 18. Similarly, try to look at the difference between these two numbers. So what we get? We get 1. So 1 with what gives 4? So 1 with 4 gives 4. Now, what is the difference between 7 and 9? So the difference between 7 and 9 is 2. 
So two with what gives ten? So it is five. So it is simple. Three into four into I mean three, four, five. And next would be six, right? So what is the difference between five and nine, which is four? So four into six, I get twenty-four. So the value of question mark is twenty-four, right? So if your answer is twenty-four, then you are definitely correct. I hope you understood the problem, right? Now we have fourth model problem. Yes. So this problem is related to our second structure, right? So here you have a circle and you have some numbers in boundaries and you have a middle number. So at this question, you have to find this question mark. Now try to look at the relationship between the boundary number and middle number. Now, if you look at the relationship between boundary number and middle number, it's so simple. So here the middle number is greater than the boundary number, right? So try to add the boundary numbers two plus seven plus nine plus eight. So when you add it, how much you are getting? When you add it, you are getting twenty-six, right? So seven plus two nine, nine plus nine, eighteen, eighteen plus eight, you get twenty-six. So twenty-six plus what gives twenty-eight? So the relation is twenty-six plus two, right? So add the boundary numbers and add two with it, you are getting twenty-eight. Now try to uh, use the same structure here. So seven plus six plus four plus three, right? So six plus four ten, and ten plus ten uh, twenty. So twenty. With what gives twenty four? So twenty with four gives twenty four. Now, here you have two and here you have four. So two, four, and next will be six. Right now, try to add the boundary number six plus nine plus eight plus five. So, you know, uh, six plus nine you get fifteen. Fifteen plus five twenty. Twenty plus eight twenty eight. So twenty eight plus six what we get thirty four. So answer for the question mark is thirty four. So this becomes your answer. Right, so this is really simple. Now moving to last problem of this lesson. Okay, so here you have some X cross structure, and you totally have two question marks here, right? So you have to find the two question marks. Now you have a value in middle, right? So that might be correlated with you know the first cross or second cross. You don't need to worry about that. Now here you have some bigger numbers, right? So sixty-three, twenty-six, and here you have a question mark. Now try to look at the uh, closest association between, you know, the second cross. For example, if you take this as x and this cross as y. Now try to uh, look at the relationship between the first number you have at the y cross as well as the last number you have at the y cross. Now what is the relationship between four and sixty-three? So here answer lies in cubes. So what is four cube? So four cube you get sixty-four. So sixty-four minus one you get sixty-three. Similarly here if you take this y cross. You have three, so three cube you get twenty seven. So twenty seven minus one you get twenty six. So what will come here? This is eight, right? So eight cube you get five hundred and twelve. So five hundred and twelve minus one you get five hundred and eleven. So answer for this question mark is five hundred and eleven. But wait, you have another question mark. Now you have minus one here and four here. So how you obtain this minus one? Now try to check it. So you have two. Four, seven, sixty-three, and a minus one. Now, if you add this two and four, so when you add this two and four, you get six. So six with the center number, you have seven. So you have to subtract seven from six, you get minus one, right? So here, two plus four, minus seven, you get minus one. Similarly, it's seven plus three, you get ten. Ten minus six, you get four. And here you have six and eight, so six plus eight you get fourteen. So fourteen minus what gives three? So definitely fourteen minus eleven will give three, right? So answer for this question mark is eleven. So for number puzzles, definitely there will be some relationship between numbers provided in the boundaries or number provided in uh, at the center of the structure uh, will have some relationship. Right, so you have to try to decode the relationship. So for this, you need more practice, and you should have, you know, uh, the understanding of the quality of numbers. That is the divisibility criteria of number four and divisibility criteria of number three and multiples of eleven, something like that. So if you have a deep understanding on numbers, scoring marks on number puzzles, that is puzzle solving in Infosys. Not only in Infosys, in all the examinations will be really, really easy. And I hope you have enjoyed this session and you find it useful, right? So if you find it useful so please like and share the video to your friends thanks a lot for watching have a nice day